Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. So in this video, I want to tell you about what the basic addressing modes in the 805 and microcontroller are. So basically, the addressing modes in the 805 and microcontroller are four. There are four main addressing modes in, the, in this microcontroller we are talking about. So these addressing modes are really, really very simple. So before I jump into what these addressing modes are, where you have to exercise some caution before using that specific addressing mode and uh, where you have, where you can use it and where you cannot and uh, what the limitations of that specific uh, mode are. Let me just tell you one simple uh, mnemonic operation. So there is a mnemonic for, there is the moving data. So uh, you have to realize that a computer spends a lot of time in moving data. In fact, uh, the time it spends on performing calculations and time it uh, spends on moving data is same or sometimes moving data it might spend even more time depending upon the case. So, uh, for moving data you use different mnemonics like move, exchange, MOV, XCH. So these are the different methods of moving data from one memory location to another. So MOV, move, is the basic mnemonic which uh, you need to keep in your mind before uh, getting into the addressing modes we are going to talk about. So now, uh, coming to the four addressing modes, which I have told you there are, there are four. The first one is immediate addressing mode. The first one is immediate addressing mode. The second one is registered addressing mode. The third is direct addressing mode and the fourth is indirect addressing mode so we have immediate addressing mode register addressing mode direct addressing mode and indirect addressing mode so understanding these addressing modes is really really simple the first thing you have to keep in your mind is the move mnemonic which I have talked about before right now. Every move operation, every move operation is followed by destination, comma, source. Let me just write it clear for you. move destination comma source that is the syntax you need to keep in your mind that is move destination comma source remember like this it can get confusing here d and s what comes early d comes first and s comes second so destination comma source that is how you can remember for this mnemonic so how this is going to work the first thing when you say, when I say move A comma 36, 36H or whatever, hashtag 36H, say I want to move some data, I want to move some data into a register called A or any memory location. So I have to write the destination memory here and the source here. Always remember this thing move destination comma source write that memory which you are going to move the data into and the source is where you're getting the data from if you remember this you have cracked this thing already so there we go move destination comma source and the first one we're going to look at is immediate addressing mode always remember it this way Whenever you get the hash or 
pound symbol as many prefer to call it in uh, the microcontroller field the pound symbol wherever you find the pound symbol in the move uh, operation syntax understand that it is an immediate addressing mode let me tell you what the immediate addressing mode does the immediate addressing mode the first example is move move a comma hash 36h so what did i write move destination comma source and my source is hash 36h so the hash indicates that immediate number this 36h whatever number this is this hexadecimal number this number is immediately moved is directly moved into a you will understand this better once i uh, just tell you register direct and indirect addressing modes so now move a comma hash 36h it is going to move the number 36h into the memory location or accumulator register a this is the function of immediate addressing mode let me just uh, give you some more examples move r not comma hash 39h i am moving 39h the number the number itself directly into r not so immediate addressing mode you have a hash symbol and you move the number and you move the data directly into a register of your memory location so the next is register addressing mode in register addressing mode the data transfer is between two registers as the name itself indicates register addressing mode and for this there is no pound symbol the pound symbol is only for immediate addressing mode remember that now for register addressing mode i write move r not comma a move r not comma a this is a register addressing mode i am moving this is my destination and this is my source a is my source r not is my destination i am moving the contents of the accumulator register a into the content into the register r not the contents of register a are being copied into r not so there are two registers involved this is called register addressing mode this looks very clean very very clean no complication no hash symbol no pound symbol or whatever but remember that you cannot initiate a data transfer between two registers numbered r not to r7 or that is what your register bank is r not r not r not r1 r2 and r7 you cannot initiate data transfer between r not and r7 say move r not comma r7 if i write like this this is invalid because i cannot take two registers like this always always in the register transfer mode involve the accumulator register you can transfer between r7 and a you can transfer between r0 and a but you cannot transfer between r0 and r7 or r1 or and and the move r1 and r3 is invalid move r2 comma r5 is invalid move r2 comma a move a comma r2 they are valid right you get it the more and more examples you solve the more and more programs you write based on this you will uh, be more clear about this so this is register addressing mode the next addressing mode we are going to talk about is the direct addressing mode as the name itself indicates for example r not here is the register r not is the 
register and a is the register what if i directly give this memory location itself in the op code or operation code for example if i write move 36h comma hash 28h what does this mean it means 28h yeah, remember this to remember this to once you see this you might think it is an immediate addressing mode though it is a combination you have given the address directly you have given the address directly you are not mentioning a or r not or r1 here you have mentioned it directly look at that too so based on that uh, things could be a combination of uh, addressing modes so 36h is the direct is the directly uh, given memory location so i am moving 28h number into the memory location 36h directly i am not uh, mentioning the register i am not uh, transferring it into the, the accumulator and then the register i am not doing any of that i am transferring a number called 28h directly into the address location 36h that's it that is direct addressing mode the next is indirect addressing mode so in direct addressing mode what did we do there is a move uh, some memory location to the other memory location directly we are transferring the data we are moving the data from this to uh, destination uh, register location in indirect addressing mode there is another uh, you have uh, you must have heard about pointers so you go to that memory location then it points at something else the same concept apply here then you have cracked indirect addressing mode indirect addressing mode is nothing but uh, i say move at the rate r not comma comma a what can you make of that whenever i am using at the rate symbol it means indirect addressing mode is involved what does it mean move at the rate r not comma a it means this is my destination and this is my source i am moving the contents of a i am moving the contents of a into into the address which is mentioned in r not see had i not this is move r not comma a this is very simply put you are just moving the data present in a to the data to r not whatever data is in a is going into r not but there whatever data is present in a goes to the address which is present in r not i'll tell you how this works in direct addressing mode in a there is a number 36 in r not 36 is transferred into r not that is direct addressing mode in indirect addressing mode a has 36 and in r not there is an address called 38h for example this is the memory location stored in r not then what is the then uh, what where will this 36 be stored it won't be stored in r not it will be stored in this 38h so this is same as writing move 38h uh, comma a this is the same as writing this so you are moving at the rate r not the address present in r not is the destination at the rate that is indirect addressing mode so if you are not if you are still not clear about this don't worry the more examples you solve the better you get about it the first is immediate addressing mode pound symbol and the before the number the hashtag 
the pound symbol that is immediate addressing mode it's as simple as that register addressing mode two registers are involved but remember accumulator register is involved but never write move r not comma r7 move r not comma r1 move r not comma move r1 comma r5 never write like that always accumulator register for example in the exam he asks you to transfer the data between r1 to r7 he is asking you whatever data is there in r1 transferring transfer it into r7 what will you do first move the data in r0 to the accumulator register move it into a how are you going to write it move a comma r0 destination first and source second moving a comma move a comma r0 then in a uh, r0 contents are stored now move r7 comma a that's it the contents of r0 will go to r7 so that is register addressing mode and coming to direct addressing mode in direct addressing mode instead of mentioning the register name we directly give the memory location like 36h in the memory location 36h this data is stored that is direct addressing mode in indirect addressing mode in indirect addressing mode sorry i referred to this as direct addressing mode before this is register addressing mode in indirect addressing mode we give at the rate symbol before the whatever thing we can also write uh, we can also write at the rate r not this side what will happen then the contents present in the address of r not are transferred into a so these are the four types of addressing modes which we usually come across in microcontroller styles so if you have an exam tomorrow all the very best and uh, have a great day